Barry, take it easy. Barry's got to take his hood off today. I just, he's moving along. I just want to make sure that he stay. Barry, let's go this way. Come on. Hi everyone, welcome. It's good having you here. I wear glasses, sometimes. <laughs> uh, these are, I should wear them all the time. They're readers, but they're also uh, progressive lenses because when I drive, I do have trouble sometimes seeing street signs from a distance, so I have these. Anyway, I can't read a thing without them. Now, if I do without them for a couple of days, take them off for a couple of days, I can generally start to see a little better as far as reading goes. But overall, I need them. <laughs> so we'll just go with that for now. And I could wear contacts. I just... I wore them when I was younger, but since I became an adult, I wear glasses. And they are a part of my body, like many of you. They're the first thing I reach for on my nightstand in the morning, and they're the last thing that I touch before I go to sleep at night, because I take them off. So, glasses are an important part of my life, and yours probably as well. Well, in this age of the COVID-19, they're also guards for our, our eyes even when you don't suspect that they're doing anything. So, as I mentioned in another video, and as you've no doubt heard by now, the COVID virus can remain in the air for up to three hours. So, if you walk past a place where someone has sneezed or coughed or anything like that, even if your mouth is protected and um, it doesn't get anywhere else, well, it's on your clothing and your glasses. <laughs> Our glasses are like a shield, and I've purposely dirtied these for this example. Must them up. I want to show you how, if you don't know how to properly clean your glasses, and many people don't. Some people buy those kits where you spray stuff on it and you rub them with the microfiber cloth and that kind of thing, but I want to show you an even better way in my opinion, and one that I'm very happy to share with you. So what I do each day, of course, I usually do it over a sink, but for this example, I'm just using a bowl and a pitcher. So I wet my glasses, and I generally wet all of them, the arms and the lenses. Then I just take some liquid soap. This is my uh, kind and clean, but you can use any, you could use uh, dishwashing soap, anything that's not too harsh. And then I simply rub the soap over the lenses. We're actually washing the glasses. We're not just spraying them and perhaps missing a spot. And wash all of them. Get down into the hinges, wash the arms. You should do this anyway, even when there aren't bad viruses around, because the oils from our hair and from our skin get on our glasses uh, and on the frames and just keep them looking nicer and lasting longer. Um, and this I know to be true because I've experienced it. Anyway, all I'm doing is just rubbing the soap with my clean fingers. You don't want to do this with sandy fingers because you would possibly scratch your lenses. But just clean hands, I'm just rubbing them. And then rinse. I generally will leave the soap on them for 30 seconds or more. And considering we're fighting a virus right now, that's a real good idea, just like washing your hands. And what's nice about this is your hands are getting clean at the same time, right? So the, once I, what I do is I rinse them off like so. Make sure they're well rinsed. And then I'll set them down for a moment, <laughs> which I'm doing now. Dry your hands first. And you can use one of these little microfiber uh, rags if you have that, but even a plain old half sheet of paper towel will do the trick. You don't want to rub them, so pay very close attention. All I do is lay them like this, then I wrap the paper towel around the lenses, like so. Close the arms. 
and I'm just pressing the paper towel against the lenses to absorb the water. Now, if you're worried about lint or anything, that's not an issue I have using paper towels. That's one reason why I don't like to use a cotton cloth is sometimes you'll get lint, the little fibers. And this is all there is to it. Clean, the, uh, make sure you dry the little nose guards. And I, if I didn't mention it, those always have to be washed too. Those are what sit on your actual nose. So you're not only protecting yourself from possible virus, but you're getting your glasses nice and clean and shiny and almost like new, aren't they? And that's all there is to it. It's simple, it's easy on the glasses, it doesn't scratch them, and you don't have to buy any extra product. That You're cleaning them using just what you have at home, good old soap and water. Isn't that terrific? Just a tip I wanted to share with you. I know that it's a tough time for us, everybody, and gosh, it's so weird for me not being able to, on my days off usually, that's when I like to do shopping. Late at night, I like to go to the store, get things that I need. Uh, like, I can't even get coconut oil right now uh, from my distributor because they're sold out. I, there are several supplies that are very hard to get right now. And I think it is going to be challenging for a lot of us. But uh, we're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. But if you have any questions for me, feel free to ask. Uh, keep those glasses clean. Now, folks... Whether or not you believe in climate change or not, what I can tell you is that these hellebore generally only bloom here in December and January. And we had a mild winter this year, and here they are blooming in March. This has never happened in 24 years that they've been here. And I just, I just wanted to touch on that. It's just very odd. Uh, never seen anything like it. They're doing really well. They're very happy right now. And they've never bloomed. I mean, this is like three months late and warm, uh, considering, for them. So I was just really surprised. Do you have these where you are? And if so, are yours in bloom now? Have a great day, everyone.